Hello, welcome back to Canvas Classics. Today we're going to be working on the fuel injection system. Um, we've got to build the tank. Um, there's some wiring that's got to take place, plumbing that's got to take place. Um, it's going to be a two-part series. We know it's going to be running a little long. Uh, so we'll do is two parts. Um, first thing we're going to do is build the tank. Of course, got our instructions. So we're going to follow those. Tape measure, measure to the bottom of the tank, six and a half. Six and a half. Six and an eighth. Okay, so our bigger hole is the electric fuel pump. It's an in-tank pump. Um, the smaller hole is for the sending unit for the fuel gauge. So we got to do some. Uh, got to do one more measurement. So we take our pump. This is our pre-filter. Believe it's a 10 micron filter. Um, there's the other filters for. 100 microns, um, which is going to keep a lot of the smaller debris and stuff out of our tank, out of our fuel system. So we have to put this filter on first. Mm, got it on. And we have to have a measurement for it. Let's do five and a half. Okay. So our math, the feed side is six and a half minus five and a half, which is leaves us one inch. Um, our return line will be five and a half. sending unit. The way it works is you measure half the tank depth, so it's six six and five eighths. So because it's adding in half and it's gonna make my calculating or adds an eighth of an inch and it's gonna make my calculating Easier, we're going to do half of six and a half, which is three and a quarter. So, three and a quarter on, from the bottom of this to the center of this. Uh, and then we'll put our arm on and that'll adjust our fuel, fuel level. So, we'll get started here. With this pump. So we do have this set of cutters. If you've done any work with PEX pipe, you'll have a set of these um, used in the uh, plumbing of a house. So that gives us a nice clean flat cut. Okay, then we go five and a half. And this one, um, your length should be at the end and it should be an angle cut. 
and one at what? Five and a half? Roughly a 45 degree. So the white lines are return. So when we plumb it, we will run a, have to re run a return line. Does need to go this way. Okay. So we are going to test fit. Actually looks like test fitting is going to be a little more difficult so we'll just run it in when we get it done. So there are some wiring that needs to take place so we'll pull this back off. So it comes with this sleeve that's to go on the pump. We'll put that on. And they are different sized, so we'll put the right one on. And of course, we don't want our wires to cross, so we got them in backwards. It's a learning process for us as well. Mm 
go. Let's get. We don't want this to come off in the tank, so I'm going to grab a nut driver out of our toolbox. You can use a Phillips or a flat screwdriver. Um, I prefer the nut driver. These other ones come pre-done, so I'm just going to make sure they're tight. And go ahead and put... A rubber seal. Slide it down in the hole. Okay, so we do put... According to the instructions, we put these two on here, hooking the white pipe to the pump. Snug these up. Again, this was all provided. We bought this as a fuel injection tank kit. So the pump come with it, everything come. You just gotta put it together. are a little bit different than I've used. <laughs> so we'll just take and slide that in there instead of cutting them off. And before we put this in, We got to get our gasket on. Probably should have done that first. We'll just be careful, get it up there. Let me tighten those after we get it in. Okay. Again, fitting this in here looks like it's a little bit of a struggle. Tight fit, I've just got to slowly work it down. Make it a little easier on myself. Turn this hose clamp.
to be that way. Those are tight. Mm. Okay, so because it's fuel injection, we will be running uh, these are 6AN fittings. Um, we do want to do Teflon tape on them to prevent any leaks. And then the hose will slide on. And it is fuel injection hose. It's rated at, it's an Earl Products. It's rated for fuel injection. And then there are special hose clamps. These are fuel injection hose clamps. If you've never seen them, um, they're a little bit different. Instead of you know, coiling in there, um, they suck together and tighten up really well. Uh, and they'll withstand the pressure. This runs, I believe, around 63 psi. So it's a little bit more pressure than. Quite a bit more pressure, your carburetor runs at about seven. We are bottomed out. We're going to go ahead and just pull that piece right out. Run this piece. right there make sure okay so we can see where our screws need to go
Okay. So we got the screw started. Getting both done in a little ways. Back them off just enough. There, this will move. And our measurement again was three and one quarter inches. Okay, we had a little issue. The camera overheated while we was filming, but we got it cut down. So our next step is to put the float in. this little piece that they put in there from the factory. Before, before you put the float on, why don't you put the gasket on? Good idea, we'll put the gasket on first. Okay. And the float goes on this side. down till it's level with the gasket. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. We'll tighten this down. Got tightened, we're still good. And we'll just want to cut off the excess of this. And we want to leave a little bit so that it can catch that, catch the stopper. And we'll cut it about there. go towards the back of the tank. Okay, so that has our tank prepped except for the hoses. Um, we're going to have to run those. We'll do that in the ne next episode. Put the tank in, run the hoses. We got some wiring to do, which is going to be boring. You guys don't want to watch that. Um, we can go through, over it real quick though. We are putting in new um, battery cables specifically because they have these on the ends. Um, coming off of our main harness, there's two relays. Um, the red and black wire hooked to our positive and negative, ground on the battery, direct to the battery, it has to go direct to the battery. Um, this end will plug into our, the wires coming out of the uh, throttle body here. Uh, one of those wires goes to the O2 sensor that we installed in the exhaust episode. This pink wire needs to go to a switched, switched positive or a key on positive. And it has to be positive in both the run and start positions. Um, this one is an input for the coil. Um, we have an HEI distributor, so we will hook this off of the TAC side of the distributor. And then 
Um, these will just need to mount on the firewall, they're relays. Uh, one's for the fuel pump. Uh, this blue wire needs to run back. It'll be connected to the red wire on the tank. And that is our fuel pump feed. Uh, negative will just grab off the body, frame off the back. Um, we've already got our wiring for our sending unit back there from the old tank. And we'll just combine the, neg combine the ground back on the back with that. Um, we're going to try and mount these as low as we can on the firewall. Uh, they knew, do need to still be accessible because they're relays and fuses. Uh, we have this entire uh, 10 wire bundle. We need one wire. We'll probably see if we can pull the other wires out um, just so we don't have live wires. Uh, we actually wouldn't need this at all, but my Firebird actually does have a hood tack. Um, we'll show you that when we have it down on the ground. And that'll complete the wiring portion of it. And then we do have a fuel block off plate. It does have the Pontiac logo and the Firebird logo. So we'll get this installed, um, get some of the wiring installed. We won't do the plumbing because oh, we want to show you that. Um, but we'll get to where we're ready to put the tank in, ready to connect that up, wire it up. And that will be episode two. Thank you. Like and subscribe.